hey there. You new around here? Oh, I definitely know that you're new to this whole scene. No doubt about that. I meant if you were new around Dam. Really? I've never seen you around though. Who gives? Ah. Which days are you usually around the library then? That actually makes more sense. <laughs> I'm there on the weekends to read up stuff. I don't like being in there too long because the cold from the AC works me up, so I can see why we don't really cross paths that much. I'm a jaguar. <laughs> We're not built for colder environments. I don't mind getting hot and sweaty, but I like things to at least be nice and warm. Nope. <laughs> I'm actually aiming for a certification in electromagic. Shifter magic is already up my alley, so I wanted to lean into something else I liked more. I mean, yeah, but that's because it doesn't come as naturally to me. It's a skill I need to develop. Just because it's hard doesn't mean that's impossible. I just have to work at it more than everyone else around me, you know? Shifter and all that. So, this your first party doll face? What? <laughs> yeah, you're pretty, like a doll, hence why I called you doll face. Okay, well I don't really care if people don't talk like that, because that's how I talk. I see someone as pretty as you, standing all nice and new, and what comes to mind isn't sexy or hot stuff, it's doll face. I never said all that, doll face. You're your own person, not a possession for me to have. I just think you've got a good look to you. If the name bothers you that much, then you can always tell me your actual name. I've been thinking up a way to get it from you. See, if I just ask you, it's not fun, and gods forbid, I never have fun when I talk to someone. You're right, I guess. I'll try your way. So, Dollface. What do I call you? Nice name. I like it. You wouldn't happen to be the stealth of that same name who told Professor Levi to suck a dick to the grady past you on a report. Would you? <laughs> you are! Holy shit! No, 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 you're a legend, don't worry. <laughs> Levi is a piece of shit. Rumor has it that they fished him from McKinley after he got fired for sneaking into the female student's locker room after they had a match over there. Oh yeah, it sucks. <laughs> the admin said they had their hands tied in hiring him, but failed to mention anything about him to the students here. No, he's honestly just as fucked up as that shitbag Cody from a while ago. You know, Cody from Water Elemental Studies? He transferred after he got penalized by staff for being weird with a freelancer some time ago. Asshole deserved to get his shit rocked, honestly. Yeah, I care about all that stuff. Kinda of my thing around here. You don't know who I am? Wild. <laughs> Casey Laveau. 
Jaguar Shifter, Pack Leader, and Local Gossip Cat. Want to know the stitch on anything? Then come to me and I'll probably be able to tell you. <laughs> yeah, Pack Leader. Like an alpha, you know? What I'm doing here is studying to get better at my Electro Magic. My pack is run by my dad, who I'm not really on the best of terms with, but I am pack leader, so he kinda has to suck it up. Leadership varies from pack to pack, and not every country has the same roles and social bullshit about that stuff. Yeah, I'm not American. <laughs> I'm from the Caribbean. No, no, you're all good. Ugh, most people don't think I am, but it's kind of funny watching the gears spin in their head when they do realize. Thanks for good drama. Well, you don't call yourself a gossip cat and not like drama, Adolphus. It's fun and dangerous, but also the danger of the drama is what makes it fun. I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't be talking to me. Or maybe you should. I'm not the authority on that. You are. See, you say that, but you told a teacher to suck a dick, so I don't think I believe you when you say that danger isn't your thing. I think it is. <laughs> Just in smaller doses than what I get up to. Aren't you curious? Wanna know what the cat usually drags in? Fair. I did say that you could talk to me if you wanted to know the sitch on anything, and that does include me. So, what do you want to know? Who I'm friends with? That's a long list of people, dollface. You want a notepad to keep track of it? <laughs> fair, fair. I can point a few people out to you, actually. Alright. So, from the people we can see, I know Gavin, the Incubus over there, with that freelancer. Major couple goals, BT dubs. Yeah. I know them, and I've met their boy toy, Vincent. Solaire. The actual prince of the Solaire clan, you know? Well, no, I don't know him like that. But I know his partner, and we're friends because of our classes together. They're hot, right? You can admit it. There's no shame in admitting someone is hot. See, I think they're both hot, but I'm not interested in Vincent. He's too... average. Yeah, sure, he's the Princess of Laraquan, but that's an act. I've seen how they are when they're together at parties like this, and Vincent is too down to earth for me. Oh, he is hot, and I would absolutely love a threesome with him and his partner. But he's not my type. Of course I have a type. And it's not him. Why do you want to know, Dollface? Don't worry. Survive the night, and I might tell you. Right, back to pointing people out. Let's see. There's my friend. I call him Sleep. He's really cool. They're staring at you like that because they're just making sure that you don't try anything funny. Real sweetheart though. Love him to death. <laughs> they do look like my bodyguard, don't they? It's weird since I'm the one who works in security. 
it's uh, yeah i work freelance with shaw security that place run by the local pack what you don't believe me oh so you think that because i'm a pack alpha i can't get along with another pack is that it chill i'm pulling your leg but i get that bit of a stereotype but one that has some truth to it not every alpha and pack sees eye to eye but more often than not we get along pretty well and mr shaw and i got along so well that i managed to score a job sometimes when they need an extra hand what do you mean you don't believe me what, you want me to call and prove it? Fine then. Watch and weep. No, hey boss. How are things? Oh, no, I'm not here to annoy you this time. Just checking on that job for Monday night. The one with those dreamwalkers? So I'm still on for that? Cool. Yeah, it's loud at hair because I'm at a party right now. <laughs> it's Friday. I can do whatever I want. Well, I mean, there's other ways to spend a Friday, but that wouldn't be appropriate to discuss over the phone between an employer and employee. Hello? <laughs> See? Yeah, I do talk to my boss like that. Sometimes. We're a little chill. I just like annoying him from time to time. He looks cute when his face is all scrunched up and mad. I mean, he could fire me. I'm not gonna stop him from doing that, but I do think that he enjoys my company a little too much to do that. Anyways. The one over there slinging drinks at the kitchen? Yeah, that's Lexi. They're like one of the coolest people I know. Second to me, of course. I illustrate books for them on the side. Yeah, they're a smut author. They work from home with their partners, Aaron and Shara. Those two fight like cats, and Lexi is just there in between all of it. Really hot though, and super nice. Don't let looks fool you, dollface. Everyone here has a story. And most people who come to parties are just looking to unwind. That's the case with most parties. Except for frat parties. Do me a favor and don't go to those. They will eat you alive. Listen, I'm just warning you. The closest thing we have to a frat is the college in the next town over a few miles from here, and they're nasty little shits. Half the guys there have charges on them, and the other half are just dicks. Totally not true. I don't tell everyone's business. Only shit bags who deserve it. Like Professor Levi, for example. Knowing someone's business and telling it are two different things. I knew about you by proxy. But most of the students don't like his ass. And they really hated him after his business got leaked and people knew about his history. I will neither confirm nor deny that I had any involvement in that. But I will proudly say that Cody, the soggy bitch that he is, Learn what happens when you fuck around and find out. Who's nosy now, huh? Look at you. Alright, alright, I'll tell you. It was the same thing with the freelancer. Official word was that the admins had things sorted out on their end, but I got word of what happened, and I just so happened to have spread Cody's secret across the school to let everyone know how much of a wet bitch she is. How else do you think Gavin and I are friends? Well, yeah, I also fucked him. But that's me having fun. 
airing out Cody's dirty laundry was somewhat personal. Sort of. Long story short, he was my ex and he tried some similar shit with me too. So when I heard what happened, I was way too eager to fuck him over. Not my story to tell, I fear. You want to know everything that happened? Look it up. But don't go barging into anyone's business. Listen, I get the curiosity. I know it better than anyone. Curiosity and cats, after all. Anyways, you want to get out of here? I think the smell of weed and alcohol is getting to me, and while you look better than you did before I got here, I don't think this part of the night is your style by the look of things. No, it's not cool for me asking the fuck. I'm not on that tonight. I want to know if you want to head outside and talk more instead of having to compete with everything else. Sick. Follow me then, dollface. Make sure not to get lost. There. Much better, huh? You mind if I ask what you're doing here? No offense. Parties like this are not your thing, and it shows. Wait. You've never been to one of these, so you accepted a random invite from a friend you don't know that well to come to an address you didn't memorize to be around people you don't know. No offense again, but... Are you good? Like, up there? Hey, hey, I gotta ask, because it takes some real bravery to pull that shit. I don't even go anywhere without one of my partners knowing where I am. Yeah, partners. As in, plural. I'm Polly. No need to ice up. I won't bite your head off. It's okay to be surprised about things you didn't know. Anyways, did you at least tell anyone that you'd be here? That random friend does not in fact count since I wasn't seeing them around you at your first party. A pretty mouse like you shouldn't be at a corner by themselves. What? You said you didn't like Dollface. You don't like mouse either? Well, Dollface is going to have to stick. Sucks for you. I give people I like nicknames, so you're stuck with that. Yeah, so I hope you caught that hint. I'm a flirt. Sue me. I see someone I like, and I say it as it is. If you want me to turn it down, though, just let me know. That didn't sound like a no, so I'm assuming it wasn't. Cool then. Not really. I don't pick up people like this, believe it or not. <laughs> well, to start, I don't go around picking up anyone. Things kind of just happen. I meet someone, they seem cool. Either I ask them out, or they ask me out, and then we start dating. Well, I actually met my first partner, PK, like that. They're a healer, and we're roommates. We got to knowing each other first over the course of several kinds of shenanigans, and then they started dating, and it's been going well since then. It's so like I said, dollface. Things just happen. I don't really go looking for it to happen. It just does, and frankly, I like it that way. It feels cosmic. Like it's meant to happen, you know? 
Well, I'm not saying that all my relationships are meant to be, but I am saying that they are meant to happen. It could sound like bullshit, and it probably does. But hey, it's my bullshit. And I see no reason why I can't think of it like that. Hey, who knows? Maybe us meeting is meant to happen. You figure that? I mean, considering where I pulled you from, I think you avoided either walking down the street naked and high, or laying on the floor and vomit while drunk. So, maybe this is what's meant to happen. Okay, fair. It's scary thinking we might not be in control of our own actions and that everything might be predetermined, but in a way, it's also a big relief. Because when you just accept that things happen, it's easier to live life in the moment and feel at peace, you know? Instead of worrying about whether something will line up, you just trust that things will. Hey, that was not me saying it's okay to be a bum. It's me saying that it's okay to not be in control of things sometimes. There's real comfort in just doing your best and then letting things play out. I have this philosophy and I have four hot partners, three of which are werewolves. So you tell me how you think it's going. Yeah, here. I have pics on my phone if you want to see. Sick. So, this is Milo. I call him Short Stack. That's his partner. That's Asher and his spouse. They recently got married. It was fun. And they had a double wedding with David and his spouse too. Yeah, that David. My boss. David Shaw. Yes, I'm dating David Shaw. I'm dating all of them. Didn't we just go over this? Like I said, it just happened. Yeah, it really just happened. Not to seem conceited, dollface, but I'm hot and I'm pretty agreeable. <laughs> A lot of people find that attractive. <laughs> Okay, maybe I did get a little lucky, but then again, who's to say? Please, I'm far from living the dream. I still have work to do. And damn, for one. Still gotta get certified. Then I have to move out of that apartment and into somewhere more comfortable. Then I have to subsist. Like I said, I'm not out the woods as yet. Uh-huh. And what about you? You're pretty, smart, bold, got a nice head on your shoulders, barring the decision to come to this party, and you're a decent person. I don't think you give yourself enough credit because I see something pretty different than the person you believe you are. Yeah, I do. How are you on your feet? Yeah, I want to dance with you. And I have to know how good you are at it. Shit, you say. Well, it's a good thing that everyone else doesn't care, and I am a very good teacher. Just one dance, doll face. Promise. Sick. Let's go.